Hello, I'm Sam Wheel, and today we're going to be talking about the knowledge, or sorry, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so, if you don't know the story, the basic rundown is this. There's two human beings called Adam and Eve, and they're in a perfect world in this garden where they can eat all the fruits that they want, and God says, just don't eat from this one tree. You can eat anything else, just don't eat from this one tree. And, so... One day a snake comes up to one of the human beings, the female is like, okay, so God said that you can't eat from any of the trees. And so the woman is like, no, 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 God said that we can eat from any of the trees. The only tree that we can't eat from is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so the snake is like, oh, well, why do you think that is? You know, is God scared of you becoming like him or something? And so... The human being, the female, contemplates over the tree, looks at it, it's like, well, you know, looks nice, why can't I eat it? And so she takes a bite from the, uh, the fruit of the tree, then she hands it to her husband, who is there with her, seeing the whole thing happen. Um, and as a result of that, they plunge into the depths of the world of suffering. They're in this perfect world, and now we're in a world that is... Uh, filled with imperfections, uh, come as they may. So, oftentimes people interpret the fruit of the tree in this story as being something that upon eating, you gain knowledge of what is good and evil, like it's a magical fruit. Um, that sudden, before human beings were ignorant about what things were good and what things were bad. Which we can know is not the case because Eve indicates that she knows that something is wrong. Like, no, God said that we can't do that. She knows the rule, you know. So it's not that they're completely ignorant of it. Um, rather, you could say it's experiential knowledge. That it's feeling like experiencing what is good in the world and experiencing what is bad in the world. You could say perhaps a better interpretation than just a magical fruit is that the tree always gives you knowledge of good and evil. The difference is when, whether or not you eat from it, you know. So not eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, right, is obedience to God's commands. And that brings goodness into the world, to follow the dictates of nature, you know. So an example that I use is, you know, there's a law, if you will, against having a knife in your tummy. It's going to be painful, you're going to bleed out, you'll likely die, you know. Uh, so if you place a knife there, right, then it's going to cause you pain and suffering because it's against the laws of nature. It's against how God created things, you know. Um, so in the same sense, right, Taking a bite from the fruit of the knowledge, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's a bit of a tongue twister. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil uh, is like going against, you know, your nature, you know, which will cause suffering and pain. That you can follow all these different forms of life, right? That if you want to be a carpenter, go ahead and do that. You know, you want to, you know... Uh, you want to be a swimmer, do that. All, all these different trees, in a sense, represent the different, you know, facets of life as a human being that you can explore, you know, uh, because fruits, oftentimes in literature, not only, you know, rep are fruits themselves, but symbolize, one, one's progeny, you know, your children, uh, but two, also the fruits of your labor, you know, what you've done. So it's like when you plant a seed in the ground, it becomes a tree and you eat from it. You know, so eating from all the different trees within this perfect world, this garden, is that you can follow an infinite number of ways of life and your life will still be beautiful. There's not just one way of doing it, but there's one thing you have to avoid, right? Which is turning your eyes away from God, as it were, turning your eyes away from nature, away from reality that you make other things besides the one your goal. And that's what the tree is, right? In the disobedience of God, in the willful disobedience of God, there's turning yourself away from God as your end goal toward, of life, and then turning yourself towards 
whatever caused you to disobey. Maybe it's a principle, it could be emotion, it could be a person, it could be something that you're extremely attached to, you know. So the, it's funny that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is both symbolic and literal, that the first human beings literally disobeyed God, you know, through eating this tree, but it's also a symbolism of what happens when both we obey God, you know, we obey the dictates of nature, we live in flow with reality, um, that we experience pleasure, ecstasy, peace, and the rest of it, that you really do have a perfect world. Uh, and it's not a boring perfect world because there's infinite possibilities and those infinite possibilities really only ever exist in that world. And that in this current world, where we're maculated by constraints, that we're maculated by always turning our eyes away, you know, from the unity of existence. That by doing this, by, you know, swerving away from the one goal w which we should all ultimately have, that in that, you know, we find a lot of pain. Um, and the symbolism of this is that you know, how human beings fell from their place, from their high place, where everything was available for them, where we're nothing but raw potential. You could say the symbolism for that is that, is that the one goal that we should have in life, you know, is reality itself, is God, is nature, is Brahman, there's a bunch of different names for it. And that once we slip from that, we fall fast. You know, we fall into this world, we fall into a world with hunger, and with suffering and pain. Um, and so that's what I believe to be the more beautiful interpretation of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you enjoyed this video, I suggest you check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel.